servant? Did I really have to come to this stupid marketplace with you? It smells like common folk here. Oh. Why do I have to wear this absolutely hideous garb? I can't show off my gorgeous look like this. Besides, if these peasants knew who I was, knew I was the first princess, they would be groveling at my feet, begging me to take their wares. Yes, I know what father said. You can't show yourself to the commoners, you'll cause a scene. <laughs> it's not as if that's really a problem anyway. I would love if my mere presence were to cause a scene. At least some people would appreciate me then. <laughs> if they knew who my father was, we wouldn't even need to bring the money. Of course they would offer up all their goods to me because I'm the princess. Oh, can you just imagine it, servant? When I become queen, the entire kingdom will bow to me and bestow their greatest treasures just to be in my presence a little longer. My kingdom will be the most wonderful that has ever existed, filled with worship of their mighty and beautiful ruler. You're just jealous that you won't ever be able to experience the joys of being royalty. But don't worry, because you're father's most trusted servant, and because you're a bit cute, you will still have a place in my palace. Doesn't sound wonderful? Huh? Well, don't worry about that. It's not like a simpleton like you would understand anyway. Why are we even at this marketplace anyway? And why did I have to come with you? It's not like there's anything here that we can't just get from the palace. Ooh, what's that? That necklace! It's so gorgeous. It looks so ornate and beautiful. I have to have it. Servant, you brought father's allowance, right? Good. I want you to buy me that necklace. Come on now, there's no time to waste. Someone might snatch it up if you don't hurry and get it for me. So what if my father told you to get things from a list? I'll just get some more money from him for that stuff later, don't worry. Just hurry up and get me that necklace. Hmm? Care to repeat that again? <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. You're thinking you can just say no to me? Now hurry along, the clock is ticking. You can't say no to me. You do realize I hold your life in my hands? One word to father and I can have you thrown out of the palace, or worse, executed. You might be father's most trusted servant, but do you really want to test your luck against me? Oh, fine. You know what? I don't need you. Give me father's coin purse. I'm going to buy the necklace myself without your help. Good day. I can't believe he really tried to tell me no. A servant, no less. He couldn't even defend himself from getting the purse taken away by a princess. Maybe he really was a useless servant after all. All right, I'm here. Excuse me, shopkeep. I'd like that necklace there, please. My thank you. I do look rather beautiful, don't I? <laughs> and here's your payment, good sir. Good day. What? What do you mean the bag's empty? That bag was full of gold coins just a moment ago. There's no way it's empty. No, I'm not trying to steal from you. That's preposterous. No, no, please, don't call the guards here. I wasn't trying to steal from you, I promise. I will not stand for this. Not on my pride as your first pri- Huh? Servant, what are you doing here? Did 
Did you come back to save me from these men? Please explain to them how I had the gold coins in that... Please explain to them how I had coins in that bag just a moment ago. What? Why, yes, this is my husband. And I'm just so hopelessly ditzy. I'm so sorry, good sir. I'm not very bright. I really did drop all the coins from the bag somehow. I didn't even notice. I wasn't trying to steal from you, honest. Please, sir, don't take me away from my own lack of awareness. Yes, darling, let's just go now. Uh, oh. <sighs> Thank you for giving back the necklace for me. It's not like we can afford it anyway, thanks to my accident. Thank you so much for your understanding. Husband? That was the best you could come up with in that time? And having to act like such a ditz. Ugh. I just want to crawl into bed now and forget this whole day ever happened. Yes. I really messed up trying to go get that necklace by myself. Yes, I very nearly got hurt from doing it. Yes, I understand this was my comeuppance for being so spoiled. I'm sorry for going off on my own like that. I should have respected you and my father's wishes. Thank you for saving me from that awful situation. I'm going to be honest. I've been a fool, haven't I? I should just be grateful I'm alive after the experience I had. Wanting everything as I've been doing isn't the way to a good kingdom. I can see that now. Mind you, I won't thank you for putting me in danger like that. That you taught me a valuable lesson, and I can thank you for that. But really, what happened to the coins? I could have sworn you jiggled them for me earlier and the bag was full to bursting. They can't really have disappeared like that. And I don't see a hole in the bag either. Huh? When did you do that? I was talking to you the entire time. I, I would have noticed if you were dumping the contents of the bag into your pockets. It's not like it matters now, though. Either way, I didn't get that gorgeous necklace, and I doubt that man will want to sell it to us after that whole fiasco. <gasps> what? How did you get that? You still have all the coins. No, you didn't. Did you steal that necklace? You couldn't have. The shopkeep was staring daggers at you. The only way you could have pulled that off is if you were some kind of grand thief. No. <laughs> I refuse to believe you were some kind of master thief before you met Father. You've been my servant for as long as I can remember, and you're not even that much older than me. How did you even get to be a servant if you were? Why are you not in jail? He saw your talents and recruited you on the spot? You can't be that good. Best of your kind, huh? You know what? I've had it up to here with this story. You really want me to believe you? Prove it. Prove you're some grand thief right here and now. What are you doing? Oh my god, you're getting down on one knee and... What's that? Such an ornate box? Could that be a ring? Oh god, oh god, I'm so confused. I don't know what to say. C could you really be trying to... Wait, how does this prove you're a grand thief? What, did you steal the ring? You have to do a lot more than that to impress me. 
Look closer. All right. But I don't see what this has to do with... There's no way. This has to be a fake. You can't have really... Did you steal the royal family ring? My father hasn't taken it off since his coronation, and he said... He said the only time he would take it off would be when he deemed me fit for the throne. There's no way there was an opportunity to commit a theft of this magnitude. He made you a bet that you would try to steal his ring? If he won, you would serve him for the rest of your life. But then what was the condition for if you won? You wanted my hand in marriage. And why did you think I would ever agree to that? <laughs> you didn't? You just wanted his blessing to ask. Well, at least you aren't a complete scumbag after all. Not many folks these days that ask the woman themselves to marry. They often just ask the woman's fathers and don't consider our feelings at all. Much like my many suitors, anyway. You want my answer? Well, to be honest, I don't. <laughs> you know what? No, I won't marry you and you won't be my consort. until you buy me a real ring. <laughs> I really had you there, didn't I? You looked so sad just then. I could tore your heart from its socket. Sorry for scaring you like that. But it was just the perfect opportunity to get back at you. By the way, I can easily find out if you stole the ring you gave me. So I wouldn't try it if I were you. But until then, I'm not going to marry you, nor will I accept the family ring until you do. Now then, <laughs> I wonder what you will do. <laughs> I can't wait to see how you tackle this. <laughs>